So let us watch now next interview question. You are watching the interview questions asked in IOCL from technical domain and you are watching the real interview question asked in IOCL from fluid mechanics. Let me give you another question. Why do you use inverted U tube differential manometer? What is the benefit of that? Do you, how do you measure the pressure? Sir, there are so many devices to measure the pressure. Can you name one? Yes, sir. Mechanical gauges. Hote hain. Ye jo pressure cooker hai, this is the mechanical gauge. This is a dead weight, sorry. That is a dead weight. Mechanical gauges like Borden tubes, mechanical gauges, spring loaded valves, and then fluid mechanics mein manometers. Hote hain. So, there are many devices. Right? Diaphragm, hota hai, Borden tube, hoti hai, dead weight, hota hai, mechanical gauges. Hote hain. So, these are different devices. We are talking about the manometers. Manometers are also used to measure pressure. What is the principle in manometer? Sir, manometer works on the principle of, you know, Pascal's law and hydrostatic law, balancing the pressure of uh, liquid column with another liquid column. So, whenever there is a liquid in a column, it has hydrostatic pressure. So, how to balance that, that is a concept used in uh, manometer. Manometers are of many types. Inverted YouTube manometer ka benefit kya hai? Sir, YouTube manometer and inverted YouTube manometer, there is a difference. Let us say the fluid is flowing in this and that fluid is having density rho. Let us say manometric liquid has density rho s. Remember one thing, in inverted YouTube manometer, the liquid which is contained has a density lesser than density of the fluid flowing in the pipe or for that matter specific gravity is less than the specific gravity of the fluid flowing in the pipe. Okay, done. Now, let us calculate the pressure difference. Let us say the column difference is H. The difference of the column in 2 is H. H is the difference between the two. Now, how to calculate the pressure? Let us say pressure this side is P. 1, this side is pressure P2. Let us say this side pressure is A, this side point is B. So, what is the pressure at A? Pressure at A is P1 minus rho G. Let us call this height as Y. H plus Y. So, as I go on the top, P1 minus density of this fluid is rho G H plus Y. And what is PB? PB is P2 minus rho G Y minus rho dash G H. This side liquid is rho dash, this liquid is rho. You know that. And P A is equal to PB, Pascal's law. P A is equal to PB. When you get these two, as we know P1 is more than PB, rho G H plus Y, certain things will cancel out. P2 minus rho G Y minus rho dash G H. Rho G Y will get cancelled out. And eventually what I am going to get is this. Difference in the pressure P1 minus P2. P1 minus P2 will be rho into G rho into G into H minus rho dash G into H. That means rho minus rho dash into g into h. Now, this is the difference in pressure in inverted U2 manometer. Now, let me give you another diagram of U2 manometer. Let us say this is the U2 manometer. Wo inverted U2 by a U2 by pressure P1, pressure P2. Let us say this is the diagram. Now, let us call it this H dash. Iska mercury. Is me rho. P1 minus P2 is rho mercury minus rho into G into H dash. Is me ye formula aega. U tube inverted U tube manometer. Now let us compare. What is the density of mercury? 13,600. What is the density? Let us say water is flowing 1000 kilogram. What is the density of water? 1000 kilogram. Let us say this liquid has density of less than 1000. So, let us call it 800. Some oil, 800. So, this answer is 
टू हंड्रेड जी इंटू एच और ये कितना आया ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड जी इंटू एच डैश कंपेयर दीज टू टू हंड्रेड जी एच ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड जी एच डैश नाउ इफ द डिफरेंस इन प्रेशर पी वन पी टू इज ह्यूज इफ द डिफरेंस इन प्रेशर पी एन पी वन एंड पी टू इज ह्यूज देन आई शुड गो फॉर यू ट्यूब मैनोमीटर वाई बिकॉज इफ पी वन माइनस पी टू इज ह्यूज आई डोंट वॉन्ट एच डैश टू बी ह्यूज अदरवाइज बहुत बड़ा हो जाएगा सो इफ यूट्यूब मैनोमीटर में नॉर्मली आई यूज यू ट्यूब मैनोमीटर इफ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू सेक्शन प्रेशर डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू सेक्शन इज मोर सो दैट द कॉलम ऑफ द लिक्विड हाइट इज नॉट मच बट इन्वर्टेड यू ट्यूब इफ द डिफरेंस इन प्रेशर इज लेस देन इफ आई यूज यू ट्यूब मैनोमीटर एच विल बी वेरी वेरी लेस आई कैन नॉट इवन ऑब्जर्व इट एंड हैस आई गो फॉर इन्वर्टेड यू ट्यूब मैनोमीटर Why do you use inverted U tube manometer, sir? I use inverted U tube manometer because if the pressure difference to be measured is very small, I want that significant height should be attained. H dash should be significant for accuracy of measurement, and hence I go for it. What other advantage, sir? जो underground pipeline है उनमें U tube use नहीं कर सकते. Underground pipeline, you understand? IUCL वगैरह की हैं. तो आप उसमें U tube manometer use नहीं कर सकते. Inverted U tube use करना है. एरोप्लेन का जो वॉल है सर जो फ्लोर है एरोप्लेन या छत में सपोज देर इज समथिंग इन इन द फ्लोर सॉरी इन द रूफ टॉप पे पड़ा हुआ है एरोप्लेन के रूफ में तो वहां पे मेरे को इन्वर्टेड यूट्यूब यूज करना होता है बिकॉज अस्थेटिक्स ऑफ द रूम विल गेट स्पॉइल्ड अगर मैं कोई uh, उस पर रूफ के ऊपर अगर कोई मेजरमेंट मेरे को करना है तो आई कैन नॉट यूज यूट्यूब आई नीड टू यूज इन्वर्टेड यूट्यूब सो दैट अस्थेटिक्स आर नॉट स्पॉइल्ड दिस इज अ रीजन आई गो फॉर inverted youtube manometer less pressure difference more basically sensitivity more accuracy inverted youtube manometer i hope this is clear to you thank you